Okay, so here's an example of a TSI probability question. It says there are 20 children in the cast of a class play, and eight of the children are boys. Of the boys, four have a speaking part in the play, and of the girls, eight do not have a speaking part in the play. If a child from the cast of the play is chosen at random, what is the probability that the child has a speaking part? The first thing I'm going to do is going to I'm going to underline what they're asking me to find, which is the probability that a child, it doesn't specify which gender, but the probability that the child has a speaking part. Knowing that, I know that I'm going to have to figure out how many boys there are and how many girls there are. How can I do that? Well, it says that there are 20 children in the cast. And out of the 20 total children, eight of the children are boys. So if there's 20 children, eight of them are boys. That means 12 of them are girls. Okay? And then it says, of the eight boys, four of them have a speaking part in the play. So four boys speak. If there are a total of eight boys in the play, that means four boys don't speak. Okay? Then it says, and of the girls, eight do not have a speaking part in the play. So if eight girls don't speak, and there are a total of 12 girls in all, that means 12 minus eight is four girls who have a speaking part in the play. Now, if I calculated these numbers correctly, four plus four plus eight plus four should equal 20 total children. And because it did, I know that I have the right numbers here. But now I have to go back to my question and say, what are they asking me for? And it's the probability that the child has a speaking part. So when it comes to probability, they're asking me to put it in a fraction. So the numerator is what they're looking for, which is child who has a speaking part. So the numerator is gonna be a child that has a speaking part or the number of children that have a speaking part, I'm sorry. And then the denominator is gonna be the total amount of children in the play. We already know the total amount of children in a play are 20, so our denominator is going to be 20. And then the children that have speaking parts, there are four boys that speak, and then there are four girls that are speaking. So four plus four. So there's eight children who have a speaking part out of 20. But when it comes to probability, we want to make sure that our fraction is always reduced. How do we reduce the fraction? We have to find the greatest common factor or the largest number that can go into 8 and 20. And so we know that the greatest common factor of 8 and 20 is 4. So we divide the numerator by 4 and the denominator by 4. 8 divided by 4 is 2. 20 divided by 4 is 5. So it would be 2 out of every 5 students that would have a speaking part if chosen at random. So our answer is going to be A, 2 fifths.